Hi guys, this is Farz and welcome to Farzology. And in this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a retro or a vintage cover design. So let's get started. Okay, at first I want to create a new document here. And I'm giving 4000 to 4000 pixels in width and height and resolution 300. So now click on create. So this is your canvas and now I want to add a texture. For this go to file and now place embedded and add your texture just like this. So look at this it's a totally black but I want a bluish black color so for this I am creating a selective color adjustment layer and select a neutral and in the cyan I am giving 14 I think this is fine and increase the black a little bit also yeah I think plus 8 is fine and then go to the black again and plus 3 for cyan that's fine and plus 6 for black so let's see the before and after this is the before and this is after it's more bluish now i think this is fine and now i want to add my main image and like this and i did this manipulation just for fun let's see how it works here press and hold alt and drag to make it bigger I think this size is good or a little bit more. I think now it's fine. So press enter. And now I want to add another texture. So go to the place embedded again. And I am choosing this. So now press enter and drag it to the released on the top of the first texture and now change the blending mode to screen press ctrl and t and make it a little bit bigger i think i want just this portion and this line only just okay now it's fine but look at this it's not properly blended so for this press ctrl and l to bring the levels panel and now click this triangle and just drag it to the right and look at this this was the before and look at this the edges are gone so now it's fine i got the line and now click your main subject and and to add another texture i think this one just like this and press enter and right click on your mouse and select here create clipping mask and now change the blending mode to a screen so the effect is applied just only the image just only your main image and now but it's too much so for this press ctrl and l to bring the levels panel and click this triangle and drag it to the right it's like this i think it's fine so look at this let's see the before and this is after it's good now and now i want the same texture in the background also so for this just press ctrl and j to copy and drag it to the down the top of the background texture and look at this back and and now press ctrl and t press ok here and make it a little bit bigger i think this is fine so let's see the before and after this was the before and this is after it looks good okay now i want to add a torn paper just beneath the main subject so for this again go to the place embedded and Selecting this and just place it here. 
press and hold alter and make it smaller just like this let's zoom in i think this is fine and now select the subject and create a mask and select a black brush i think hardness yeah 100 percent is good and just paint in the bottom to remove the extra part of the picture just like this so this is the effect and now i want to create a curves and select this point and bring this little bit up i think this point here and another one here this is fine bring this little bit up to get a faded look i think this is fine look at this this was the before and this is the after i think we'll decrease the opacity a little bit so this is fine so the basic editing is done and now i want to add some text to make it better and for this at first i want to select the rectangle tool to create a line here and just create a line i think this is fine and make sure fill with white color and a stroke no stroke and i think this is fine little bit down yeah i think it's fine and to make it a little bit thick so for this select the rectangle tool and go to the properties panel and just into the height section just reduce the value i think 13 pixel yeah it's fine and now place it a little bit yeah i think this is fine and now just select the type tool and just type and now go to the character panel and and increase this value to create some e space between your later i think this is fine so i'm going with this and now i think this is fine and now press and hold alt and with the move tool just click and drag and now select the type tool again press ctrl and do it to select all and just type your second word i think this is fine and select this three layer and place it on the middle i think yeah this is fine and now i want to make another text here so select the type tool and now i'm writing moon journey i don't know why i am writing this and press ctrl and t and make it a little bit bigger so i think this is fine and now select all and change the color to like this i think yeah i think this is fine so the color code is df3f00 it's your choice i think this is fine and change the blending mode to yeah soft light is good and press ctrl and j to copy yeah now it looks good and select the first one and then go to the blending option and then to add a drop shadow let's zoom in i think this is fine that i think yeah it looks good so now press ok let's see the before and after it looks good and now i want the same text into the background you can write it again or you can copy it by pressing ctrl and j and drag it to the down 
just top of the background texture and now press ctrl and t and move it make it a little bit bigger i think i think i should change the color so you can see clearly and also the blending mode to normal so i think this i think i should make it a little bit more bigger yeah that's fine and now go to the blending option and now select stroke and i'm selecting white color and i think i should choose okay let's see with the red color so you can see clearly four pixel i think i should give five or six pixel is it's perfect and now since the color to white i know it make no sense but if you decrease the fill value to zero and now look at this it creates sense and you can also decrease the opacity to so i think yeah 60 percent is fine for me look at this before and after so it looks good now and now you can add another text here so i'm typing another one L O V E. Yeah, I think this is fine. And oh my god, it looks really nasty. So create the character panel and select your auto. So it's fine now. I think I should decrease the space. I think this is fine. So, press Ctrl and T if you want to bigger again. I think this place is good. Yeah, it's fine. And again, since the blending mode, I think I should copy it first. And hide it and select the love layer and go to the blending option again. And just do the same trick. Go to the stroke. And with six color white and fill zero percent it's good and since the opacity to 70 65 percent too i think this is fine and and now active the love copy layer and just drag it a little bit to the left and change the blending mode to soft light i think this is fine and again copy it by pressing ctrl and j i think yeah it looks good now so just place it a little bit closer a little bit down so do experiment i think yeah it's fine so let's zoom out all the thing yeah look at this the cover is done it's really amazing and it's really easy it's not too difficult so you can try this with your image if you love this tutorial hit the like button leave your comments and don't forget to subscribe remember one thing you can get this psd file on my patreon account you can also support me on patreon thank you